بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم آصف اللہ یو آر ٹیوٹر آف ویب ٹیکنالوجیز کورس دس ویڈیو لیکچر از فار ویک ون لیکچر ون اینڈ دس از پارٹ ون آف لیکچر ون فسٹ آف آل لیٹس ہیو این انٹروڈکشن آف دا کورس ویب ٹیکنالوجیز فسٹ وی ول ڈسکس course objectives in this course student will learn to understand the principles of creating an if an effective web page that how to develop effective and more interactive web pages second they will learn the language of web websites like html css student will learn techniques of responsive web designing including media queries that how to develop a responsive web design and how to include media queries media queries is a technique introduced in css3 student will learn to develop basic programming skills using javascript which is a client side side scripting language jquery which is a javascript library and it simplifies javascript programming json which is a lightweight data exchange format and used when data is sent from server to web page and xml which is an extend extensible markup language and at the end ajax student will learn to develop skills of php uh, to design dynamic web pages because to design dynamic web pages we need php language this course has certain learning outcomes at the end of this course students should be able to design and implement dynamic websites with good aesthetic sense of designing and let us technical know how because the student will know at the end of this course that how to design a dynamic and and, inter and interactive websites students will have a good grounding of web application terminologies they will be familiarized with all the web application terminologies internet tools e-commerce and other web services be able to create a well designed and well formed professional website utilizing the most current standards and practices they learn in the course they will demonstrate the knowledge in web technologies including html xhtml css javascript ajax json xml and php create client side scripts to aid interactivity to web pages select appropriate web tools for a development of a project that student should know about the tools that could be feasible for a particular project make the web pages more dynamic and interactive these are the course learning outcomes now we have course contents of web technologies introduction to web application uh, tcp ip application services we will learn in this course web servers and extensibilities sgml html css3 and so on xml and after that we will talk about http uh, request http uh responses cookie coordination privacy and all these and then server configuration server security then we will learn about web browser uh, active browser pages javascript ajax json and so on so these are the course contents of the web technologies now let's have a look of the weekly plan of this course in first week we will uh introduce the web technologies and web applications and tcp ip and web servers 
in second week uh, we will have an introduction of sgml html xhtml html5 extensibility xml cascading style sheets and we will start html5 in this second week as well in third week we will talk about introduction to frames and iframes in html we will talk about html forms uploading a file via form advanced html in fourth week uh, we will learn about advanced html html semantic elements cascading style sheets and its types in fifth week we'll talk about inheritance in css concept of specificity in css styling tables and forms dealing with colors in css styling lists pseudo classes background and foreground images creating layouts in css in six week we'll talk about responsive web design overview of bootstrap css framework introduction to javascript in seventh week we will learn about dom manipulation using javascript handling events in javascript and how to validate from input using javascript the advantage of client side validation and changing css properties using javascript in eight week we'll talk about objects in javascript arrow function in javascript object oriented javascript in ninth week we will learn about xml introduction to json in 10th week i will talk about introduction to jquery web services in 11th week we will talk about introduction to php and in 12th week we will learn about form handling in php form validation file handling in php handling date and time include versus required in php in 13th week we'll talk about H, uh, http a stateless protocol introduction to cookies in 14th week php with mysql creating connection with mysql creating database and tables introduction to crude in php that is create read update delete introduction to prepared statement in php sql injection attack how to avoid sql injection in 15th week we'll talk about the object oriented concepts of php and in 16 weeks we'll also talk about the object oriented concepts of php like inheritance polymorphism abstract classes new trends and web development course rape up reference material for this course uh, first of all we will talk about reference books first one is web application architecture principles protocols and practices by leon and richard well second edition and second one is web technologies a computer science perspective by jeffrey c jackson of prentice hall first edition i will provide you both of these books in pdf form you can take help from these books during your studies other reference materials like websites from which students can take help the first one is w3schools.com second one is tutorialpoint.com study tonight.com and the last one is javatpoint.com so student can take help from these websites this will be very helpful for the student and this is the end of lecture a one part one thank you